Good morning. We got some harvesting to do. Let's go. All right, so we got two nice zooks right here. Good morning. I seen some nice tomatoes that uh getting nice and red over here on this part of the garden. So let's go over there and get some of those. And I see another patty pan squash that's looking to get harvested. Cucumber over there. Go get him too. All right, let me park right here. Now over here, you can see nice and, this one's gotten red enough to be picked and taken into the house now. Nice size, nice size tomato there. This is the ruggest tomatoes. These are my absolute favorite. Just love these tomatoes. You can see this plant here is loaded all the way, loaded all the way up, all the way up with tomatoes. But this one's ready, so we're gonna go ahead and harvest this one. Okay, we're over here at my German Johnson. Now, looks like some of these tomatoes over here have, uh, look like they're conjointed together. It's a couple of them like that, but most of them are, are not like that. They're all still nice and green, but, so we'll get those later. Over here, we're at my, my big boys, my big boy plant here. And down here, I have a few that are turning red. Go ahead and get those. Put this down there. All right. Go ahead and throw you in the basket. Peppers there are starting to put a little size to them, but they still got a long ways to go. I gotta get out with a bowl because some of these blackberries are starting to taste nice and sweet. There you can see the butternut squash. Some of them are starting to get a little fat, starting to get a little fat. Walk over here and get this cucumber. Now this is Ricky's plant here. 
This plant here has put out three nice cucumbers so far from this one plant here. And the other ones over there got some small ones on it, but they're lacking. I wonder what Dr. Rick is putting on his cucumbers. That his cucumbers, you know, getting some size to them. And my cucumbers are smacking. Gotta check on that boy. I guess while I'm walking this way, I'll eat a few more of Dr. Ricky's current cherries. Nice and sweet. We're gonna pick the rest of these red ones this evening to add to a salad for dinner. All right, these eggplants, the eggplants don't get too big on these ones here, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some of these harvested here. These ones are kind, these eggplants are more like a rounded eggplant and um, you know, they only get so big and I'll show you a couple. Now, I'm very pleased with these eggplants here. I have lots of flowers here, and I have a whole bunch of little ones there, so it's gonna be a nice harvest this season on the eggplants. Um, I don't wanna brag or anything, but I always do very, very well with eggplants. Show you around and show you some of the little ones there. Okay. They're all doing nice, really nice. Now over here, I got some of these elongated uh, green eggplants. As you can see right there. They get a lot, lot, lot bigger than that. And um, this is some of them growing right there as well. And then there's another little teeny one over there doing his thing there. I have a few more of those uh, patty pan squash. Let me go ahead and harvest those.
basket over here. Here's another one, not as big as that one, but it's nice size. You don't need to let them get too big on you. Few more small ones on there. Now I wanna show you here, this is my red potato here. This one here is the last of the red potatoes that I have in buckets. Um, I have some more still growing in, um, you know, in the ground. But this one here seems to have really, really I expect to have a lot of potatoes in here because this this is so is bushed out really really well and it has held held on to his green for a long period of time. This one here I started with the same as with the other ones that I that I grew that didn't do all that well, but this one here maybe it'll be the comeback baby. So the tomatoes are just starting to uh you know, over this past week, I just I noticed that they starting to put that color on, so they're all starting to uh, to get ripe. So over here, I have let me see. I, I think I seen one one tomato, and it's um, what is it? Uh, it's a uh, well, I got I got I have two lemon boys over there that are ready to be harvested on this side over here, and. Let me see, I thought I saw one here. This one here got a tint of color on it. So let me go ahead and get him. And he's a Samizano. Now this plant over here is just loaded, just loaded down with uh, Zamazano tomatoes. And they're all different stages from bigger to medium to small. And so, We'll be harvesting from that plant for a while. But over here, down here, I see one. It's starting to turn red, so we're gonna go ahead and get him before somebody else tries to mess with him. That's the only one on there that's turned, well, some down here, but they're, they're not where I want them to be at. All right, let's um, go over here and get some, get these lemon boys. So those two are the only two that are ripe on there right now. So over here on this row here, I have uh, lemon boys, I have jubilee tomatoes, I have uh, mortgage lifters, and down in the back, those might be uh, big boy tomatoes. So I have four different types growing right here. Over here, you can see. This is where I always grow my cherry tomatoes. I have four, four of those sun red uh, uh, tomato, cherry tomatoes growing here. And each one of them, as you can see, they're nice and uniformed, growing on a, uh, on a square trellis there. I keep them nice and uniform there. So everything nice and neat, nice and tidy. They're all still green. And then over here in the, um, in the pots there, I have some um, buttercup squash growing. There we got a young one up there forming up. I don't know if these ones are ladybugs or not. I think those are the other ones there. I forget what you call them, but nevertheless, I'm gonna leave them alone. 
they're doing their thing. And this one here, as you can see here, we got some more buttercup squash growing. There's another one up there. Down here we have my zucchini plant. Has a whole bunch of baby zucchinis on there coming along. Over here I have some shishito peppers growing. And over here in the middle I have the, those are the hot peppers, those are the hot peppers there. And then down there we have some uh, bell peppers. Got some bell peppers here. And then over here, in honor of Miss Linda, I'm growing some kohlrabis. First time I've grown kohlrabis. Just growing them in the honor of Miss Linda. The New Orleans Gardener. Much love to you, Miss Linda. And as you can see on my fence line there, I got squashes of different types and I have um, blackberries, tomatoes, all kinds of stuff just growing together, uniform in the garden. Over here, I had a whole bunch of lettuce and I feed those to the chickens because that where, you know, I can just give them to the chickens now and they just devour those, they love them. And these are the Roma tomatoes I have grown on the fence line over here. As you can see, they're starting to develop little bundles of Roma tomatoes all over. Want to pick some comfrey for the chickens. All right. Let's go give the chickens a little comfrey and then we'll see what the basket looks like. Enjoy. All right, guys. So I'm here sitting on my front steps here. Let's check and see how the harvest looks. All right, so. We harvested some more patty pan squash. It's funny because what let me show you the difference here. These ones here, I don't know if it's different seeds or not, but these ones here grow like that, and these ones over here grow more like a bowl. <laughs> Go figure, right? All right, so we got those. We harvested some eggplants. Nice, you know, nice fat, round um, eggplants. These ain't gonna last long because the bull and Mrs. Bull love to eat eggplants. All right. We harvested one cucumber. The rest of the cucumbers are still small. I harvested 
two nice souks. Really nice souks. Really nice. We harvested two yellow boys. I mean yellow boys, lemon, these are yellow, lemon boys, two lemon boys. We harvested two ruggers, one ruggers tomato, two big boy tomatoes, a small Samizano, and one straight neck squash. So all in all, it was a beautiful harvest. Thank God for all that he gives us. All praises to him. You all take care. Have a blessed day.